Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Now, if you hear anything, I still got my TV on, watching a TV program, and was outside getting some things ready so I can show this one person that's in Canada and he'll know who he is to show him what we have we can't bring them into our home because my mobile home is not made for a wheelchair or walker of that size to get up and down the hall here as you can see the hallway is not wide enough for a wheelchair or a walker so we leave them out in our vehicle so we can use them when we're out going grocery shopping mainly for Renee and she does use them when we're out doing some grocery shopping or some other errands when her leg gets swelled up to the point she can't walk on it I have shown briefly several of my letters from my doctors on Twitter to this person that keeps saying over and over and over and over again that none of the information that I have proves that I cannot work or hold a job. Excuse me? What part of chronic pain from uh, arthritis throughout my body and neuropathy? Don't you understand? You can't put... You, you say you're a little older than me and wiser than me, but yet you cannot put two and two together. That's the problem with a lot of you stupid, moronic people on, on Twitter and, and YouTube. You cannot put two and two together and come up with the fact that when somebody has so many health problems, they cannot work. When I filed for Social Security, I had to go to a doctor for Social Security to be tested, to be examined basically, from head to toe. My shins that has neuropathy in them, when you touch them, well basically I they're so tender I scream in pain and because of all the pain I'm in they granted my social security of course I had to get an attorney but they granted my social security if, if you want to take away my social security, you're basically, you're basically wanting me to die. You're saying that you are a superior race and people like me only deserve to die. Yes, there was somebody actually that commented on my YouTube video that I did not approve their comment. I reported them actually. I was making a threat that said I should be put down like a dog. In reality, people like me should be lifted up and helped, not told that we should just be put down like a dog. That goes to show really where their heart truly is where their heart truly lies they do not care about the sick the lame which is what I am the cripple or the poor 
They only care about themselves. Self-centered people. Which is what the Bible says will happen in the end of the age. There will be self-centered people. People that only cares about themselves and their stupid ideological agendas. And that's what's happening today. They think because I don't walk with a cane or a walker or, you know, some other assisted device. Then I'm not really disabled. Because that is the stupid, no good for nothing intellect that is in their head. Not their heart. In their head. Because that's what they've been taught and somewhere it's got into their head that if you don't have this, and if you don't do this, then you're not really that. Lord, have mercy on their souls. I want to show you real quick. Okay. See, my back right now, and my, the nerves in my back are swelled up. So that's what that word in that one letter that I have from my um, pain management doctor, lumbar radiculitis, that means severe arthritis in the lumbar region. But it also means that the nerves in my lower back swell up. They become inflamed. And that is what's causing the neuropathy in my legs. So, I'm walking down here right now to my uh, van. So I can show you real quick. The uh, roll aider, it's called a roll aider. Roll aider walker. And it has four wheels. Uh, you know, two on each side. I don't know if you can see them here. Two wheels on each side. It has a, a little basket here in the seat that will, you know, fold down it so Renee can sit on it. it has handle, handlebar grips and brake. This right there is the brake. It has one on each side. That's the walker. Actually, it's called a rollator, as you can see here. The uh, name of the uh, company. And then let's go back here to the back end of my van. And here's the wheelchair in the back of my van. So, keep on, keep on, keep on, and keep on, you know, making videos of all your lies. Keep on making all those lying, lying tweets. So, this is another thing, too, why I can't really get them out of my vehicle. Because where I have my porch, there's just not enough room between my vehicle and the porch to get them out. Now, the, if I want to, I'd have to park in front of my mobile home and then get them out and then park. That is a lot of work, people. And this ramp was built by a group of men and a woman that came from a church to help because before had uh, steps and uh, with everything that was going on with Renee's health uh, we finally got the uh, ramp built so there you have it and actually, Renee has 
the walker in here. This is her first walker that uh, she uh, had. It's just a regular walker. So, you know, let's not go there anymore on saying, you know, that I should have a walker or a, a, a cane. I should use a walker or a cane. <laughs> right now my back hurts so much because of all the errands I did. I lived in all the groceries out of the van bringing into the house. And the weather also affects the nerves in my lower back as well. But see, unless you have what I have, you do not understand. You think that everybody like me should be the same way. If you have spina bifida, you should be, you should be, you should be crippled. That is the misconception of spina bifida. That because of the lies that's, you know, been spread all around, you'd rather believe a lie than the truth. There are a lot of people out there with spina bifida occulta, which means closed spina bifida, not open spina bifida, closed spina bifida. That probably don't even know they have it, but yet they have a lot of lower back pain. Well, I advise them to get x-rayed and get checked out. But then again... I pray, Lord, that these people, these evil-thinking people, will stop with their lies, their deceit, their, their uh, trying to get me in trouble with whatever they want to try to get me in trouble with. All because they think, they think, Lord, they think, Lord God Almighty, the one true living God. I pray that you will change your thinking or you will do something in their life to change your thinking. Because sometimes that's the only way to change your thinking is when something happens in their own personal life. I ask this all in the name of Jesus, my Christ and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Does that mean I'm, I'm cursing you? No. It just means you need an awakening. And if you want to say, well, I uh, called Social Security and reported you. I did this and I did that. And, you know, report me. I got all the letters, documentations, x-rays that proves what's wrong with me. I even have my physical x-rays before they destroyed them at the hospital. So if you want to keep it up, you know what? It will go to show the true hatred that you have in your heart. We are all looking forward to working with the council going forward. God bless you. Have a blessed day.